let's do some linear functions with intercepts. Try to keep it simple. We're looking for y equals mx plus b. If we were to graph it, it would look like this, where this is your b, and your rise over your run is your m. And you can also tell what your m is by how much you go up every time you move up one. So if that's one, then your m is just the rise. Okay, so the battery drains at a rate of two per hour, right? So the per hour gives you a sense that that's the slope. The battery rains at two per hour. It drains, so it's gonna be negative two P, so O equals negative two P, okay? Um, to the amount of power loss if the ISS loses nine powers from a short circuit. So it starts off already down nine. You know what, I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip here. Let's just use Y and X. Okay, you, we can figure out the letters at the end, right? So y equals negative 2x minus 9. Okay, so y equals negative 2x minus 9. You're losing 2 per hour, so that's where this minus 2 comes in. And you start off down 9, right? So at time 0, if you put in 0 here, you're already down 9. So negative 2 variable minus 9. And this one is the one that makes sense. In theory, they could trick you by putting the, the wrong letters on the wrong sides and stuff, but that, that's not what this is about, right? So O equals negative 2P minus 9. Daniel, Daniel sells strawberries out of the back of his van. In order to predict the required stock, write a formula to relate the number of strawberries lost to the hour C. Okay, so... We're just going to use y and x. If he sells four per hour, so four per hour, that gives you a sense that it's slope. And it has to throw out eight moldy ones, but he all, but he started down eight. It threw out eight. So four x minus eight. Now, if we use the letters, right? This is hours, right? So that would be c, and the h is the um, what? What does it say? B. Yeah, B is the number of strawberries lost. So I guess we have to be careful. They're thinking about it as losing when he sells, so we're gonna put a negative four there. So we sell strawberries, he loses four every hour, and then he also automatically loses eight. All right, so it would be B equals negative four C minus eight. The International Space Station relies on solar panels and batteries for its power. When the ISS is in the shadow of the Earth, the battery drains at a rate, these are keywords for slope. Again, let's just start with y. y equals negative 10x. Find the formula, number of hours, blah, blah, blah. If the ISS loses seven to start with, right? Power is from a short circuit, so 10x minus seven. I'm not a huge fan of these letters because they're they're not really related to the to the actual like things, um, like hours, you probably would use H. Um, but, you know, I think you can kind of get the answer just from understanding that it's letter equals negative 10 times other letter minus seven, right? So it would be this. You can just think of E as Y and F as X, right? Um, so yeah, let's just go with that. The city produces two, so now because we're typing it in, we have to get the letters right, so we're warmed up, we'll get the letters right. So it produces two jobs every year H, right? So Y equals two jobs every year, so 2X, if there are already one job available, so Y equals 2X plus one. So this is jobs, and this is years. So now we just have to figure out what what letter? So year is H for some reason, and jobs is G, right? That's what it gives us. So it's G equals 2H plus 1.
Okay, so Gavin has a supply of hay to feed the cows every day. Write a formula for like the hay lost T, so lost T, and the number of days U if the cow eats 16 bales of hay per day. So Y equals negative per day slope, negative 16X loses. And he finds 10, so let's say he finds 10. So that's a plus 10. And then you can kind of just tell it's letter equals negative 16 other letter plus 10. So it should be this. T equals negative 16 U plus 10. Farmer Braden has a supply of hay to feed the cows every day. Write a formula to relate the hay loss to N and the number of days O. If the cows eat nine bales of hay per day, slope, Y equals 9X, and he finds three. Oh, but it's lost, right? So the cows are eating, right? So it's negative 9X, but he finds three to start with. So negative letter equals negative nine letter plus three All right so that would be this okay um at a rate of 12 per month lost at a rate of 12 per month so y equals the jo Joshua Town is going through an economic downturn and jobs are being lost at a rate of 12 per month. So Y equals negative 12X. As the mayor of Joshua Town, you need to write a formula to relate the number of months K to the number of jobs J if there was a one-time loss of seven jobs due to a factory explosion. So one-time loss, that's not a rate, that's a starting off loss. So negative 12X minus seven, that's the number of months and that's job. And now we have to do this silly thing where we translate between these letters and jobs. So at least here, jobs is J, that makes sense. And months is K. All right, so J equals negative 12 K minus seven. Just check our work. Seven jobs. K is the number of months, negative 12 rate per month. J is jobs. Okay. Drains at a rate of 19 per hour. So we have Y equals negative 19X. Write the number of hours are, blah, blah, blah. blah if the ISS loses two power units from a short circuit. So it starts off with a two unit loss and then every hour it loses 19 per hour. So that's hours. You plug in hours and you get out um, units of power. Okay, so I have to figure out these letters. Find the formula where the number of hours R. So hours is R, and the amount of power loss is Q. So it should be Q equals 19R minus two. And again, I want to check this. Power equals negative 19 times the number of hours, which we've said is R minus 2. Farmer Olivia's total chicken flock K is decreasing. She loses 12 per week. Loses 12 per week. Y equals negative 12X. Right in front of the rivers, blah, blah, blah. Um, one time loss of nine chickens, so minus nine. Y equals negative 12X minus nine. Okay, so this is weeks. That's every time you put in a week there, it goes down another 12. And then the this is the chicken flock, so chicken. And now we translate. 
and total chicken flock K, and the week is, uh, you guys probably see it, I don't see the letter. There's a total number of chickens and the number of weeks, I crossed it out, I think it's L, yeah, L. Okay, so it's K equals negative 12 L minus nine. which is that, or letter equals negative 12 letter minus them. If you trust that they put the right letters in the right spot, which we in theory shouldn't, but whatever. Okay, Benjamin sells strawberries out of the back of his man. In order to predict the required stock, write a formula to rate the number of strawberries lost R to the hours if he sells 17 per hour. So he, he sells, so he's losing. So Y equals negative 17 X. And he has to throw out nine moldy ones, so minus nine. So let's just do letter equals negative 17 letter minus nine. So he loses 17 strawberries. Um, yeah. It's especially confusing when S is hours, when you have a word strawberries, right? So r equals negative 17 s minus 9. okay all right guys you know i think i think they're intended to sort of make you really have to think through the letters and i think that's good but you know we made it to the end and have fun have a good day